percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. Got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 24 Hours of Crypto. Let's get right into today's video. Take a look at the blood on the streets here. We got crypto, the stock market, everything is in the red. We are living through history right now. I mean, just take a listen to what they said this morning. Well, history in the mix. Scary, been, don't say that. We have never <laughs> been down a thousand points ever, not even intraday on the NASDAQ. Is that true? That is true. Okay. I'm down 6% right from the get-go. This is heavy, heavy set. Big tech, here we go. Look at them go down. Microsoft is down 20 bucks, that's 5%. Alphabet, 5%. Meta, 6%. Amazon, 6%. Apple, 9% now. Let's pull out Apple. Uh, this is interesting. What, I, I, a question for you. We have never been down a thousand points ever, not even intraday on the NASDAQ. Is that true? That is true. Okay. And don't forget what happened, you know, a couple weeks ago. Systems are going down, we're transitioning, and they're giving us a little bit of an insight of what's to come. Well, some breaking news in the last few minutes. The Bank of England has reported a problem with its CHAPS payments system. You've been here a long time. I'm guessing you've never seen anything quite like what we're seeing right now. Never seen anything quite like this, and it's an indicator, really, of how much technology has taken over not only this business, obviously, but so many others. And in this particular uh, business, television, uh, a lot of things that used to be done by human beings are now done uh, by computers and software, and it's great when it works, not so great when it doesn't. Payment systems went down. Microsoft went down. What do you think is going to happen next? In my opinion, there will be some sort of, you know, event that's going to occur where we won't have access to an inter internet for a little bit. With the way things are going, I mean, I can't be the only one thinking that, right? The Dow is almost down a thousand percent. And they are all manipulating this. You can't even make this stuff up. Morgan Stanley, remember this, this was three days ago. They were gonna allow their financial advisors to pitch Bitcoin ETFs to their wealthy clients, not to the individuals with 10,000, 5,000, 20,000, you know, 40,000, that is not wealthy. I've worked in private wealth myself. So your wealthy clients are minimum, maybe, you know, $500,000 and above. So they're gonna start pitching Bitcoin ETFs. When are they gonna do it? Well, their advisors can solicit illegible clients, the wealthy ones, to purchase share of two exchange traded Bitcoin funds starting August 7th. And today's August 5th. Would you take a look at that? They're getting in a sweet price for their wealthy, wealthy clients. And you know, BlackRock right now is buying up the dip. It's all right here. And Warren Buffett sets off a little market run here as when he dumped $75 billion worth of stock of Apple. And then you have people over here complaining about how Ripple holds XRP in escrow where XRP's purpose. I mean, if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video, I highly, highly recommend it. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Um, wait until XRP flips Bitcoin and XRP hits double digits and triple digits. I guarantee it. It is going to happen a lot sooner than all of us expects it to happen, okay? And again, going back to everything going down, I mean, you just really can't make this stuff up. You have Robinhood halting trading, so you can't even do anything. And this is my number one concern for when this whole crypto ecosystem blows up, right? Am I going to be able to sell? Am I able to log into my account? We haven't hit mass adoption yet. And I remember back in 2017, 18, when all these exchanges got overwhelmed, they were putting restrictions on people's accounts and all, all their assets. We have seen none of that for crypto yet. Vanguard went down today. Okay, and they're just getting back on their feet right now. Their websites were down, their online brokerage were down, mobile brokerages were down. They weren't able to log in and access their funds and do anything. Same with Charles Schwab, mobile brokerage, down. Even if you go to Fidelity Investments, right? Robinhood, Bank of America, everybody had, has problems right now. 
and we haven't even seen anything yet. This is just the tip of the iceberg, right? I mean, we have even TD Ameritrade. Take a look at this. 67% even right now, they cannot log in to their accounts. So that is why if you do not have at least some of your assets on a cold storage, I recommend you do that as soon as possible before retail picks up. Within the next couple of weeks, months, things are gonna drastically change. I'm telling you, they know what's, what's around the corner. Never, this should be engraved in your head what Ray Dalio says. I have to pay attention to the implications of the great disruptions that are going to take place. Because the world is going to be, the world will be radically different in five years. And it's going to go year by year, become radically different. Next elections, the debt situation, all of these things are going to change. And then with this, with the new technologies, we're going to go, it's like going through a time warp. We're going to be in a different world, okay? And the disruptors will be disrupted. It's gonna be like going through a time warp. And I actually personally just got two more for myself because I know that my family, my relatives, they're all gonna come in soon and they're all gonna want one. So when that day comes, I could sell it to them. And remember, do not ever buy a wallet anywhere besides their website, okay? Link is in the description down below up to $130 off for two. And I'll even make a video within the next couple of weeks where I set mine up again, okay? Because I will be getting more. So I'm gonna set mine up. We're gonna put more assets into this because that is my, my scare that I had a couple of weeks ago when the cell towers went down and I wasn't able to withdraw my funds because I couldn't receive a text message on my phone. I mean, that was a, that, put me idle for a couple days and a lot of things could happen. And ever since then, I mean, I'm on my toes. That, that, that was very bad. Four days, no cell service, couldn't get my funds. A lot of things could have happened in that time frame, right? So link in the description down below. We'll make a video on setting one of these up within the next coming weeks, less than two weeks, you'll see me making that. Now let's go on to, you know, what's going on in this crypto ecosystem, right? Bitcoin reaching 46,000, XRP's at 49 cents. Listen, I'm a broken record. You guys have heard this before. These numbers right here, but this time it's different. If you know, you know that this time it is different. The clearinghouses haven't come in yet and they're all projected to come in this year. Robbie even told you. The Morgan Stanleys of the world, the UBSs, the Merrill Lynch's, these big wirehouse wealth platforms that are only working on an unsolicited basis. But like, do you think fourth quarter is on the table for some of these? Are you thinking more into 2025? Like, where where do you think a timeline, if you had to throw a dart at a board and guess, when, when do you think the earliest that it could happen for one of these big wirehouses? Um, I, I won't get into specific names and timelines, obviously, but um, you know, certainly uh, this year is is uh, is likely. And this crypto ecosystem is all now controlled by VCs and large hedge fund companies, and all the retail money is already in here, right? You don't have individuals buying one full Bitcoin for fifty-four thousand dollars right now. Right, retail money is done. This is had crypto has been taken over now by the big guys, and that this next leg up that we are gonna see this Q4 2024 leading into 2025 Q1 is gonna be tremendous. And August 5th, 2025, this time next year, things are gonna be in a completely different space, and the only way that you know, we don't reach those kind of astronomical levels or any kind of bullishness is if the world goes to shit, you know, if we start a World War Three and it goes crazy, if Trump loses and there's civil war, you got to counter all those into effect. But I don't think that's going to happen, in my opinion, anytime soon, anytime soon. So before we wrap up today's episode, I'm going to give you guys three coins two which I've already given to you, but I gotta bring this back to your attention. This is not financial advice, but these are some very A++ assets if you're looking to open up a new port position in crypto. Number one we have is Ondo at 70 cents. 
Axelar, I cannot stress this enough, at 44 cents. And then we have Filecoin at $3.27. And I don't want to live rent-free in your head, but XRP, I'll be living rent-free in a lot of people's head to reaching those astronomical numbers. But Ondo, Axelar, Filecoin, these are going to do extremely well. And this is not financial advice, but there's a lot of coins out there and it's hard to find, you know, what you could diversify in. So those three right there are top tier coins. And before we wrap up today's video, just know we haven't, like, I mean, you let me know what you guys think in the comments down below with the current events that are going on right now, but it's crazy. You know, the payment system going down, Microsoft going down, stock market is, I mean, it's doing, it's doing numbers that we haven't seen in years, right? You got Morgan Stanley telling you that they're going to pitch crypto to their customers on August 7th and how ironic everything just started went down, right? They, these guys could be buying crypto right now. Well, not could be, they are buying crypto right now. It's insane to me how they just lie to the retail and to the public and people are okay with that. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate every single one of you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And link in the description down below for the wallet two pack up to $130 off. Make sure you are on the exclusive discount page so the discount is applied. You will see it. We will be back with another video. Significant times to be alive, folks. This is history in the making. We are living through some crazy, crazy moments right now that we're gonna look back at and be like, wow, we were there. We did this all together. Think about it, right? We're gonna be here on this channel. We're gonna be talking about whatever topic we talk about on that date, but Bitcoin's gonna be at a higher price. XRP is gonna be a way higher price. You know, trillions in market cap. We're so close. I'm telling you. We are so close. This is not BS. We are so close. It's It falls in line perfectly with their agenda as well. So this is why. This is it. This is it. It's now or never. The transition is happening as we speak. With the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.